here to Hi. interview you about this island and yourself. Okay. What's this island like exactly? It's a godforsaken place for sure. Okay. Um, what do you like about this island and dislike about it? Um, it's definitely a very, very peaceful island. You can definitely get your privacy if you're not having reporters in your face 24 7. But uh, it's very secluded. But also, that's also one of the bad things. It's, you don't really get much visitors. Um, the uh, stories that are told here are told native are not good. Um, we have, there, there's definitely just, it's definitely a dismal place at night as well. Okay. Do you like being alone so much? You know, I don't, uh, I don't have any family at home back on the mainland. Um, I'm not married, so I don't have any family here. Um, ever since the war, I've just been sailing the seas with friends, but I haven't really gotten off the island to see them and tell them I'm alive. Okay. Um, did you get this money from the island, or how did you get the money to own such a place? Um, I did not own this. I, I've, I'm, I was very, very poor after the war. The U.S. government didn't give me much money, but um, I was sailing here, um, look, just looking for. I, I like to hunt, looking for hunters, or looking for things to hunt. And uh, I was in, I was in a shipwreck, and the there's a German general here that was hunting down the the stranded sailors and turning it into the most dangerous game on earth. So basically like a real life Hunger Games. Interesting. Is this island as bad as people say it is or is people just exaggerating? Um, I'd say definitely general, the general, it was definitely as bad as everyone said it was um, when the general was living here. Um, off on the south side there's quicksand. Um, you don't want to get stuck in. If you do, you're gone forever. Um, the rocks and the cliffs that surround the island, except for the northern side where the bay is, very look very intimidating. Um, but now that he's gone, it could definitely be a nice retirement home for uh, rich people. Like you. Sure. <laughs> um, what's the food like here? Uh, the food's really good. I have a chef imported from Switzerland. Um, he does not speak English, so can't understand him much, but his food is very good. Um, I don't think I'm going to fire him anytime soon. Okay. Um, so no one leaves this island alive, correct? Um, no. Well, not recently. Not to, not four months ago, but I released all of the prisoners or the um, sailors waiting to be hunted down and killed. Um, gave them enough money from the vault to s sail home to their families and basically start their life over again. How did you survive this island? Um, I survived by using, just keeping my wits about me. Um, he's a very formidable opponent. Um, definitely say he was the devil himself. Um, I, honestly, I don't know how I, I defeated him. Um, he was mostly playing with me, like how a dog 
plays with the bunny rabbit before he kills it. Okay. Interesting. Um, what are your plans with this big house and all this money going forward? Um, I'm thinking of staying here a little bit longer. Um, if I ever come across a use for it, like, to sell it, to make a bigger profit, and live somewhere nicer on in the mainland, or start a new life here in the tropics, it's definitely nice. The weather's nice year-round, um, the tornadoes are a problem, um, the weather is definitely not ideal, but I'd say I want to stay here a little bit longer, um, at least until the whole Zerov man slaughter is over, blows over. Okay. Well, that's all I have time for. Thank you for your time. Alright, thank you for interrupting my <laughs> nap. You're welcome. Sure. <laughs> um, what is the food like here? Um, I have a gourmet chef imported from France. He has, um, he speaks Spanish, so can't really understand him much. Um, but, oh, cut. Why? <laughs> I said Spanish, and he said Spanish. <laughs> Wow, that was a move right there. <laughs>